Welcome back to our, our learning session on astronauts and aliens. This is Vicki with Learning Home Volunteers. So tell me, has your little astronaut acclimated to their life in space? Are you ready for some missions and ready to experience some of the work of astronauts? We hope so because we have some things for them to do. This is activity number five making craters. Have you ever wondered what caused the craters on the moon? Did you know that the moon is dusty and the powdery, like what you see the astronaut actually holding here on the right hand side? Well, craters are caused by meteors, I think rocks, <laughs> striking the moon. And we can actually simulate the creation of craters by using flour. So to try making craters, you want to put your flour in a container ball outside. The reason I say outside is because when craters are created, the dust pops up and certainly with our flower that old same thing. So what you want to do is take your ball and drop it onto the flower. So what do you think is going to happen? Can you change your moon to look like the picture on the left? We'd love to see some shots of the craters that your child creates. So please post them up on class day. This is activity number six, make a rocket from your name. And in your bag, you're gonna find that it has squares, one triangle and a string. You're gonna use the string flames coming out of the rocket. The triangle will be the top of the rocket and the squares will be used to create the body of the rocket. One square per letter of the child's name. To help your child get the right shape for the letter, you can do a couple of things. You can either use a dot outline of the letter like we see here, or you can use a highlighter like we see here and have the child actually uh, write inside the highlighter. Either way, you're going to end up with the letters of your child's name, which you can glue together on a piece of paper, and voila, you have a rocket. This is activity number seven, alien eyes counting. And in your bag, you're going to find 10 aliens and lots and lots of eyes. The idea is you want to put a number on the aliens, like we can see here on the antenna, and um, then have them put the corresponding number of eyes on each of the alien, like this. So you can see here, this child uh, was supposed to put five eyes on it, and we count one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. This is activity number eight, milk magic. And in your bag, you're going to find powdered milk, a tube of food coloring. And what you want to first do is to mix the water with the powdered milk to, well, make liquid milk. This is actually whole milk, and we aren't going to be really making that much milk. So you want to add the water slowly until it looks uh, like whole milk. Now, once it's actually all mixed together, throw it in the fridge and let it cool down. Now, once it's cooled down, we're actually ready to try the magic itself. We're going to add little drops of color from that tube onto the top of the milk itself. If you have food coloring in your home, you could add different colors to go along with the blue. You don't want to pour it in, you want to drop it in, which is why we provided a pipette. As you sit and watch, the food coloring will slowly uh, combine with the fat in the milk in long streaks. As it gets to the outside, if you want to do a little color mixing, you can use a stick or a knife to com combine it. So you could see how some of the planets look up close, because it certainly looks like a planet to me. Take a look at these pictures of Jupiter taken from the Hubble telescope out in space. Stunning, huh? Well, next week we're going to do a little bit of cooking and play some games and use stars to practice our letters. Oh, and of course, make some space aliens. I'll talk to you then.